Hi, I'm Jacopo, and I'm an activist of open source ecology. Uh, open source ecology is an international network of farmers, engineers, activists who are developing an amazing project. The aim of open source ecology is to develop uh, open source modular DIY uh, version of 15 dozen machines that can one can build. And is based uh, on the fact that uh, actually technology for farming is really expensive. And can you hear me? Okay, sorry. And uh, it's really expensive. So actually, the project is called. The Google Village Construction Set. Uh, it's a GitHub 15 or so machine that okay, anyone can do it actually, as I said before. And you can download it from a wiki page. And it's aimed to solve the problem of uh, obsolescence of tools. I've been involved uh, a year and a half ago. I was starting wondering how to solve this kind of problem. Uh, we started thinking uh, how to solve the problem. The, the, the main uh, issues that they want to solve is to give people a cheap way that they, they can solve on their own to uh, the excessive cost of these tools. The aim of uh, this process, of this um, project, is to give people the opportunity of sharing economical, sensitive information, as a schema, graphic, design, or machine, and, and let them grow in as a, all, all other open source projects. As you know, in open source community, everyone can contribute from his own PC with networking tools to um, let the community grow, sharing the knowledge and information. The, the final goal of open source ecology is to develop the open source economy, where actually everybody can give their information, take information, sharing information, economic and <laughs> tangible information. So there is no more need to be just on the market, to be uh, stopped from canonical way of uh, economy, but using new way of sharing knowledge and to reproduce uh, technology that once were highly customized, highly complicated to reproduce on your own. We actually reproduced uh, in September of the last year one of the machines of the global village construction set in three different versions. This is the first one, and those are our first bricks. Don't do it in your flat, maybe your neighbor will get upset about that. <laughs> and this is what a, a big victory we, we had. And at the beginning, I was completely alone. And after a while, a community came to assist. People get interested. If an institution get interested in what we've done, how we propose it, are we trying to solve a problem that actually afflicts a lot of people? Uh, for those who don't know, a tractor can cost uh, about a uh, thousand euros and even more. We decided to create an association, ISIS, to propose our project, to diffuse it in Europe, to letting people know, get involved, to tutor the project, but uh, we had a problem. We, we were really close to do something revolutionary, something new, but we were stopped. <laughs> Bureaucracy. The European sun law stopped us because there are needs of safety and standardizing that the, the European community require this is our not big toys, so we need to be safe even in front of the laws. And we tried to solve it. We have a big stop, actually a big problem, because we, we, we did something. We already have a machine. 
we're making bricks and say, uh, how can I solve that problem? So we actually think to do something uh, they have already done in the United States of America. We are model a small business on the model of factory farm, the each quarter of uh, open source ecology in the US, but with a little more of Italian fashion. To certify the machine, remodeling the design, upload on a week page of open source ecology the new design that is certifica certificated in safety, and letting people have it on their hands, making what they want to do with it, or asking us for our support, or even just reproducing it on their own, as the open source economy proposed, with the sharing of knowledge and information. And in this case, with a certificate and safety design machine. We work both on virtual and real world. We are a community-based network, so actually we born in the web, but we have also community in all Europe, as in the US, or in other part of the world, as in South America. And we are trying to do something new. We're trying to do something actually is really different. We are a, a lot of people. We came from different life experience. We have different visions. We have different way of doing things. But it's not matter how we think. It's matter what we do. We are actually doing something to change the situation, to make it better, to make this world better with our small contribution. The matter is not how we can make it better. The matter is, will you accept the change and the challenge we propose? Are you ready to accept the challenge? I guess a lot of you are in oh, no, no. <laughs> I guess a lot of you are interested in the topic, so are there any questions in the room? Yes. Thank you. 
try to, to see it in another way. We, we see it's not a limitation, it's a, a way to improve the problem. Maybe. We will not see it, too. we will not see this problem, this problem as a problem, as a new way of starting a different approach, a European vision of the sociology. So actually, it could be uh, an help, uh, an helpful uh, situation to solve as a problem. I have my answer. Hi, my name is Johnson. I was wondering how do you come up with the problem? Is it to solve the problem in Italy or is it for aimed at developing countries? Well, uh, the problem, actually, the European certification is a problem for all the Europe. So, if you solve the problem in Italy, we can solve it for all the Europe. Because the European type of certification is valid for all Europe. But if we design a machine with a different way, so a safe European way, actually it could be possible even in developing countries. It's not a problem, just a design. So you can take it from the Wiki page of sociology, download it, verbally. It's for everyone. The problem is that the Europe has this limitation. So actually, I was talking about with Britain and uh, in Missouri and the US you don't need this permission for the design or you don't have this limitation but of course different country have uh, different, different issues. So we have to solve it here, but this solution we found maybe it's good for even other country. We are not the only one with this problem. And the traditional market and the laws that regulate the market actually stop in the I don't see it's a problem. I think it could be a good resource even for developing country who can maybe start reproducing machine with different criteria. They can even start building stuff with safety criteria. That could be a good stuff even for them, not only for us. Yeah, that's a nice 
but the solution is not uh, who actually build the factory. Is uh, why we have to build this factory in this way it should be just safe, no? And we re redesign the factory, the project itself, uh, and let people have it. They can buy it, they can solve the cost, and they can start to build it. They can do practically whatever. Is the factory ready? Download your that's a nice challenge. Okay. We, have, we, have that we have to start up a small company. It's a creative business, so it's not just for making money. Uh, but uh, this is all us to redesign everything safely and let the people have it on their hand if they want. Okay, we're out of time. Okay, thank you very much.